Hello there, my name is Jonathan South. I'm uh, the course coordinator and senior lecturer here at the University of Bedfordshire for the degree in professional policing. So we've worked hard building uh, a really effective team. So all four of us are retired police officers. We've all got different backgrounds. We've all got different skill sets, but we're all really, really committed to helping our students succeed, um, both here in, within the university and then we support them into work placements. Our graduates uh, either are police officers now or they're currently going through the recruitment process. Hello there, I'm, uh, I'm Russ Murden. I'm one of the four uh, lecturers on the policing team. This course is overseen by the College of Policing, so at the very least it offers a, a, a pass, a ticket to be able to apply to join any police force in England and Wales in the next five years. Uh, police forces also employ support staff, so not everybody that works for police force is a police officer, so there's a whole host of careers working in the support services. Uh, and also uh, one of our recent graduates has uh, got a job working in a rape crisis charity in London. So anything to do with the criminal justice system and police, this is an ideal degree to, to open up that route really. So uh, the course is aimed at everybody. What we want about police service in this country is it to represent the community and look like the community. A lot of our students are from the sort of 18 to 21 year old market. However, we do have some older students who are returning to study. The degree is from the College of Policing, so we get given the curriculum. What we do at the University of Bedfordshire is add uh, a few more topics, things that are important to our school and our ambitions and our aims for our local communities. Okay, hi, I'm uh, Simon Grant. I'm a senior lecturer on the professional policing degree. So one of the things we uh, pride ourselves on is we all come from specialist areas of policing and we bring that richness to the classroom environment to give examples that we have had ourselves. Peer-to-peer -peer support is something that we encourage. We encourage this by um, getting together with all of the year groups and trying to have events where we invite year ones, twos and threes into the same space at the same time so that they can not only talk to us but also can talk to each other and share experiences and knowledge on their um, move through university. So we do cover interesting topics uh, such as terrorism, uh, mental health is a very contemporary issue at the moment. Uh, we obviously start with our law units though uh, and we like to support our students so we will develop academic skills across the year. We also um, have some interesting year two modules uh, surrounding sort of community engagement and how we work with the community. And then of course a very uh, up-to-date version of evidence-based policing, uh, which our students will learn how to assess the impact of policing on a community. I'm Karen Coton. I'm a uh, lecturer on the professional policing degree here at the University of Bedfordshire. So we're really fortunate here with the facilities that we've got available to us. Uh, this is our custody suite. Uh, we use this for quite a lot of our teaching for our policing students because it's realistic. It's got a custody desk where we can do some role plays. We can get students to um, arrest individuals and then present them to a custody sergeant, which is really, really important. We've got a, um, a mock cell, um, which we use to demonstrate to students about um, how would you deal with someone who's perhaps been arrested and detained. We've also got a, an interview suite where we encourage encourage students to take part in um, peace interviews uh, where they would interview each other and this would be recorded and then we can then um, watch those recordings, do some debriefs and actually understand how they felt interviewing suspects. So over the course of the three years for the um, students, it's really important that we allow them to kind of work with different departments. Certainly within the first year, there's an opportunity to work with forensic students, uh, media students, paramedic students in a nighttime exercise to allow um, cross collaboration in relation to actually how does a, an investigation start, um, how would the paramedics attend and then how would the police then deal with that later on. Um, we have guest lecturers come into um, some of our events over the course of the three years. Uh, we actively try and encourage our students to visit um, the Old Bailey uh, in London to actually see firsthand what it's like to perhaps go to um, one of the most senior courts in the country. We also work closely with uh, other police forces within the region uh, and actively encourage our students to volunteer for specials across any force. This is a really good opportunity for them to develop further skills uh, and understanding the role of a police officer should they wish to um, become police officers at the end of their three-year degree.